Hello everybody, it's a great day here at Ray Day. This is Eric Munfrey for getting the green guy. I'm standing here with two gentlemen who are very, very important to this event today. These gentlemen have provided the food serviceware that we're all enjoying out here with the great food and vendors that we've got out here at Ray Day. Today I'm standing with Doug Kinnaman. He is the, the uh, business development manager uh, for performance packaging of NatureWorks uh, LLC and Ken Frazier. He is the Southeast Divisional Sales Manager for Eco Products. Gentlemen, uh, first of all, Ken, let me ask you. Yes. How do compostable uh, plastics help with the zero waste effort out here today? Well, that's a really good question and a question we get asked all the time. Um, the big thing here is the marriage of the food waste that is created from all this awesome product that we're eating today when you put it in a vessel and you're eating it off a utensil like these that are being used by all the food trucks, the, two, the combination of both of those going into the composting trash receptacles here on site, that combination is being handled right here. So the food waste and the vessels in which they're being eaten in are meant to be together so they can be collected together and then be composted together right here. So instead of sending any of this to a landfill, to a waste facility, they are taken care of right here. All of this on site will degrade into a compost material that can be added back into the soil. It's just like Ray uh, C. Anderson had talked about, if it came from the earth, it needs to go back to the earth. So that's the whole purpose that we want to help educate and show everyone here that in this industry, especially the food service industry, we want these products to marry together, to be collected on one site that can be composted and returned back to the earth where it belongs. So right. that's exactly what it's about. Uh, Ken, you, you, you kind of you know alluded a little bit to this answer, but how do these products perform from the food service packaging industry in, in, in regard to uh, regular plastic products? Well, again, the problem with plastics is when they're contaminated with food, they're more problematic to be recycled. Again, the whole idea here is that as food service packaging, we want, as far as performance goes, a, a foam container, if you're microwaving it, you're nuts, because that's like the worst thing in the world you'd ever want to do. These vessels like these and containers that are shown like over here, they are meant, they could be microwaved, they could be held in a warming oven, they're made from natural organic material, so they're made to take heat. So they actually perform better and have a much better impact on the environment than a foam or plastic type container. The same thing with the cutlery. Cutlery is, there's many different forms of plastic that make cutlery. Ours are strictly made out of plant starch type, or plant materials that can compost. So again, it's easy. It's a one simple formula. And again, the performance is, they do exactly the same thing, and they actually have a much better impact on the environment. What should customers look for when looking for compulsive uh, products? Well, they're really looking for what can they replace the conventional plastics and foam that they're using now. And again, our company and others like us really specialize in making, like we have over 400 comparable items to that that are used in the food service industry. With the asks of the industry, they want to know what can we replace this with? So that is what we do. We are trying to shift the industry from using conventional foams and plastics to finding a better solution through compostable disposables and replace them. It, it's really just as simple as that. Right. Let me pose this question to Doug. With three companies working here, collaborating within this group, uh, how do you how, explain the relationship? How do you all work together? And there's a group in the back called Little's Compost that has taken this material, composting it. And our idea was, how can we really divert waste? Can we get to zero waste? This is our third year here. It's been phenomenal. And each year, we just raise the bar. Awesome. Uh, tell us, uh, Doug, how do you, uh, how have you been able to use best practices here at Ray to make this a success? Well, actually, as I said, our third year, we took last year's results and the year before and actually presented an American Recycling Conference in New Orleans to really educate people that you can do this. It's real. 
And this is so unique in the sense of the ability to take things that are locally supplied and ultimately collected and composted right on site. It's pretty phenomenal. You did a case study back in uh, 2015. Correct. What was the results of that case study? Great reviews. It really made people think. And it made actually, what I'm happy to say, Atlanta and Georgia rethink, is there another solution to waste? And we truly all believe compostability is that same solution. Wow. All right, folks, you just heard it. I'm here with Doug Kenneman and uh, Ken Frazier. These gentlemen are responsible for the food service work. This is a zero waste environment, and we thank you so much for providing these great products. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Radek.